Supercell sent me this. It's a hobby box for Clash Royale trading cards. It's absolutely huge. It's got 48 packs and each pack has six cards in it. I haven't opened a pack of cards since my childhood, since like the original Pokemon cards. I also collected Digimon, Dragon Ball Z, uh, I don't remember Yu-Gi-Oh! I got into all those old trading card games, and so whenever they sent me this, I thought this would be perfect for a video! I know I don't play Clash Royale, but there are a lot of similarities between Clash of Clans and Clash Royale, and it's all from the same or similar universe. So, uh, we're gonna open up all these cards, and there's only one way to do this. Winchester pocket knife. Everyone with red blood needs to have a pocket knife because otherwise, how are you supposed to open up your packs of stuff? I realize this is a little bit different than my normal videos, but you know, change is good. Also, believe me when I say this knife is actually very dull. I've had it for years and I've never sharpened it, so like, there's no, there's no risk of any damage. So it's safe. Don't worry. But okay, so plastic has been removed, and I, I don't even know what to expect because, again, I haven't opened up cards in forever, and I've never had a Clash Royale trading card before. First job done. Ooh, nice. All right, I gotta make sure this stays. Oh, dude, this is super cool. Look at this. So they, they had it to where you could open up these things, and you could uh, sell them by packs, like in stores and stuff, but I've never seen a Clash Royale card, like, in a store. So, this is pretty cool. I, let me know if you've, like, in the comments if you guys have ever seen this. But, oh man, this, this feeling, this is such a cool feeling. I'm gonna make a huge mess today. But okay, so let's pull out all of these cards and, uh, yeah, do the, or packs, and do this right. First pack getting opened right now. Okay, this is a little bit trickier than I remember. <laughs> it's so small! Ah, I was a kid last time I did this, so my hands are bigger now. Alright, first pack has been busted open, and... Ooh, the Royal Giant, nice. Cannon. Ice Spirit. Skeleton Barrel. Cannon cart. Ooh, and battle ram. Nice. So I don't know what's rare and what isn't. I'm assuming that there's a number on the back. 78, 48, 65, 25, and 57. Okay, so none of these say anything about their rarity. I'm assuming that that number right there, the, the 65, can you guys see that? I'm assuming that 65 is like a number. Um, and there's at least... Based on this here, it looks like there's at least 78 cards, because this is the highest number that I've got so far. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to keep track of this, but we're going to see. I mean, obviously these are rare because they're shiny. Okay, so I just realized this is really simple. Uh, the rarity is common, and then it bumps up to rare, and then it bumps... Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Rare, common, common, epic. Well, apparently I've got one epic, and epic sounds more rare than all the other ones. So, so far, this is the only rare one that I've gotten. Cannon card. So I'm going to make these into piles. So I'm going to have the common pile, which is going to be on the left. I'm going to have the rare, which is on the in the middle. And then I'm going to have the, uh, the, the stack on the right, which is going to be all of the, uh, the epics. And I, are there higher levels than that? I guess we'll find out. Let's bust open another one. All right, we got a Zap, we got a Skeleton, we got a Minion Horde, Elite Barbarian, Goblin Gang, and a Fireball. Nice, and the Fireball is the rare one. Okay, so they're kind of color-coded. All these other ones are common. Okay, so I'm figuring it out. See, this is what, what I get for having absolutely no experience with Clash Royale cards. Uh, so we've had... Oh, okay, so that first pack gave us a, uh, an Epic, but the second pack didn't. Hmm, I'm seeing a trend here. We got a rare, but we didn't get an epic. Okay, so Archer, which is a common. Tesla, Goblin, Barbarian. Hey, nice. Goblins, which is also a common. And then Bomb Tower, ooh, and it's a rare. Nice. I'm actually worried that I'm gonna make too much of a mess. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this box back here. And I'm gonna put all the 
packs in the box. Yeah, there you go. That'll work. Pack number four. Boom! Yeah, and I'm also, I I'm, apologize, I'm not used to my hands being watched, so I may or may not end up in the right place with, with showing you guys stuff. Okay, so Fire Spirits, Mortar, Knight, Bomber, Skeleton Barrel, and Dart Goblin. Nice! It's another rare. Cool, so all the orange ones are the rares, and that was super lucky, apparently, getting a uh, an epic in my first pack. That's pretty awesome. Let's keep going. I've got 48 of these things, and man, it's so hard to start these. Yes, there we go. All right, and unfortunately, it shows us the rarest one. You know, the back of the rarest one, and I, I don't want to see that. I want to see, like, the commons first. So, Spear Goblin, which used a lot in Clash Royale. Uh, Zach, Zap, <laughs> Skeletons, Minion Horde, another Barbarian. This one looks like it's the same. And Valkyrie. Ooh, look at that. That's... Fancy, fancy. And it's just a rare. Wow. Okay. I would have expected Valkyrie to be a little better than that, but is it following the cards in Clash Royale? I have no idea. I, Like I said, I'm not a uh, <laughs> Clash Royale player, so I don't know what the best cards are or anything. But, okay. I, I like this trash can situation we've got going on. So, we've got bats, minions, arrow... Two royal giants? What? And then a barbarian hut, which is also a rare. Nice. So we haven't had any repeat rares. We've had a lot of repeat commons. Cannon, Ice Spirit, Skeleton Barrel, Archers, Tesla. I feel like some of these sometimes stick to themselves. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, they're just really thick. Nice. And then Flying, flying Machine. Oh, that's super sick, man. That's super awesome. So the flying machine is um, is one card in Clash Royale that I've never used. So anyway, pretty awesome. All these commons are starting to become a bit repetitive. Ooh, Elixir Collector. This one is also a rare. Ha. Huh. Perfect. You know, you gotta have a, a little extra elixir in Clash Royale to be successful, right? I'm kind of trying to like covertly open these things because I don't want you guys to see what rares we're gonna get. Okay, uh, once again, all commons, nothing really all that special, and... Wizard! Nice! That, that's a nice one. It's just a rare. Uh, but it's still cool, right? That's super neat. I like, I like the wizard. And it's a Clash of Clans character too, which is really nice. Once again, more commons, nothing really to write home to mom about, and the giant, nice! Another crossover, gotta love that, that is a, it says number eight. I don't know if that number means anything, but it's an eight. By the way, I did the math on this, this is 488 cards, because it's 48 packs and six cards per pack. So yeah, that's like cray cray, right? Totally cray cray. Okay, arrows, royal giant, blah de blah, blah de blah, blah de blah. Ooh, ice golem, very nice. And this one's also rare. It says number sixty-six. I guess the question is, are there repeat numbers between the commons and the rares? That's that would be kind of an interesting thing to figure out because then, if there are, then it's like a list of the rares and a list of the commons. But if it isn't, then all of these are meant to be in a particular order. I don't want to spend the time doing that right now, though. But look at all these, these rares so far. This is pretty sick, man. Wait. Oh, there we go. Nice. In reverse order, too. Starting with our first one that we got, the Battle Ram. Very awesome. And still, our very first epic. Hmm. Three Musketeers! Very nice! <laughs> cool. Number 59. Ooh! Look at that! Oh my goodness! Legendary! Ho oh, ho! Wow! Lava Hound is a legendary dude! That looks amazing. 
That looks truly amazing. Now, because it's only, it's number 38. So now I'm starting to wonder if there really is an order to these things or not. And the Inferno Tower. Wow, this, this was a super successful uh, list or uh, pack for sure. Man, so I got a whole new stack. Look at that. This stack has to, well, you know what? Let me put the, uh, let me put the legendary there, kind of on the front, the forefront. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to spend a minute and try to figure out if these things have an order or... What, what the dealio is here. Okay, so I think I've looked through enough cards to know that that number doesn't mean anything because like the barbarians here are level, like this is a, this regular barbarians level is number 26, but this, uh, I, what did I find? I found the uh, the bomber was like number two. Yeah, like bombers are number two, but then the legendary is number 38. So I think it's just in the order that these cards came out or something or the order that you unlock them or something in the game. Uh, because it clearly doesn't mean like lower numbers are more rare or whatever. So glad to know that because that was really confusing me there for a minute. Musketeer. I don't think I've found the musketeer. I think I had the three musketeers, but I think now this is the one musketeer. Let me make sure because that so far I haven't had any repeats. Yeah, there's our three musketeers right there. Um, but I haven't seen any other repeats yeah looks like we're doing we're doing good as far as the rares go but as far as the epics and the legendaries things have been slow all the commons and okay all right so here's what i've noticed so whenever i open the pack it's a rare but the ones that are more rare because we got common 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 and then another Epic, the Dark Prince. Oh, that's super cool. So it's a, it's an epic, and it's number sixty. Um, but it's, it's actually between the commons and the rare, so that it catches you off guard, even if you open it from the back. That's super smart, man. Supercell does everything right, and then the furnace is also the rare card, which we haven't right, haven't had right. So that's a, uh, that is pretty cool. So now we have had our second epic. All the commons, you just kind of start looking past all those. And ooh, heal spell. Nice. Number 77. Hmm, perfect. Hog Rider! Woohoo! <laughs> Very nice. I feel like we're hitting up all the rares. I think we're going to end up having all the commons all the rares we might end up having all the epics but i feel like we're going to be missing some legendaries and it, it wouldn't surprise me if this was the only legendary we ended up with to be honest but uh there we go fireball have we gotten the fireball yet i don't feel like we have uh, I, I guess it doesn't really matter having two of a rare is not like the end of the world or anything but I feel yep okay so that's the second time now that we've gotten a fire we have two fireballs now very nice. Oh, dang. Okay, so I've been kind of like randomly pulling packs. And uh, I just used up one of the stack, the, the stack that was closest to me. So I got to start thinking a little more about which cards I pull. But let's keep going. Dang, it's a legend or an epic lightning. Oh, that's super cool. And then the Goblin Hut is another rare. Oh, dude, that is... That is nice. So this is probably, what, the third or fourth rarest one that we found so far. And it's number 17. Very nice. I like it. I love it, actually. That, there's, this is such... I'm having so much fun. It's been so long since I've opened up packs like this. Ooh, Mega Minion. Very, uh, very menacing, actually. Um, number 58 in the rare stack. I, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if... We haven't gotten all the rares at this point. I mean, how many rares are there really, you know? Ooh, whoa. What does that mean? Okay, so this is a rare, but it has a number on top. Look, look, it's the heal. I just got a heal, didn't I? Didn't I just get a heal like a couple? Yeah, yeah, check this out. So I got, I've gotten two heals, but one of them is different than the other one. And, oh my goodness, look at this. No, 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 okay, the Mega Mini was on the stack. So I got, I've also got a Tombstone. That one came in this, this uh, pack as well. That's super cool, nice rare card. But look at this. So this, this heal has, let me see if I can get it close enough to the camera. Uh, this heal has a 39 out of 50 on top. 
What does that mean? Does that mean it was like a like a first edition or something? That's usually what that means. It's like a special, there's only 50 of these in the world. That kind of thing. So is that like above legendary or something? Dude, I'm going to put that in its own category too. You you can go, uh, you guys can get out of here. You can go, uh, I feel like it's equal with legendary. So there's no like hierarchy there. But uh, yeah, so we have a normal heal, normal rare. But then we also have this numbered rare card. And I don't know what it means. If anybody knows in the comments... Let me know if this is like a one in 50 in the world type card. That's pretty awesome. Ah, every once in a while you get a corner that doesn't come out and it, it runs the risk of ruining the cards. Okay. Keep going. Zappies. Nice. Just a regular rare. Pretty cool though. Number 81. I wonder how many commons there actually are. I should have probably looked up like a, like a checklist or something because... Uh, it would have been it would have been cool to know, but then again, the mystery is also really fun, you know. So, like, what what in the world are we gonna end up with? Obviously, you're gonna get all the things from Clash Royale, but like, what you know what I mean? Anyway, ooh, rocket, nice, very nice, number twenty seven, very good. And also, for those of you that do actually play Clash Royale, let me know if these numbers mean anything to you. Like, are they? Are they the numbers of the troops in the game? I mean, I guess I could have found that out myself, but... Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Don't look. <laughs> so common, 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 common... Mini P.E.K.K.A! Woohoo! I actually really love the Mini P.E.K.K.A. I used to uh, use it all the time. That is super cool. Very nice. Number six. Wow, look at that. Rare number six. Sweet. All the commons in the world. Ooh, all right. So another three musketeers. We're starting to get doubles now in the rare category, which isn't a bad thing. It's not necessarily, I mean, getting lots of this commons, I'm gonna end up with like 40 of the same card, right? But the rares, you know, they're pretty and more rare, so more interesting. One more goblin hut, because why not? Goblin Barrel, check that out. That's another epic. That's amazing. It's um, number 18, too. That's awesome. And then a, another Mega Minion, because one of them wasn't scary enough. <laughs> oh, dude, those, those epics actually look really cool. I should probably start making another common stack. Here, let's put that over there. That way the stack doesn't get a little too tall and ridiculous. Tombstone. I've already had this one, I think, but that's pretty cool. Perfect for Halloween, since that was not very long ago, right? Another ice golem, because, hey, it's almost winter. Perfect timing for that as well. Inferno Tower, because every Town Hall 10 has two. Yes, that meant that's my second one, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly, and I'm pretty sure I am. Whoa. Okay, guys. Uh, this is another one of those numbered ones. So, this is an Elite Barbarian, which I think, yeah, it's a common. Check that out. So, it's a common, but it has a number, 13 out of 25. So, what does that mean? Does that mean that maybe this isn't, there's only 25 in the world. Maybe this means that it's just a, a special holographic common, and there's only 25 of these in the world not not in the world but like there's there's 25 holographic um rares or commons commons yeah maybe there's 25 holographic commons and this is number 13 of that list that makes a little bit more sense but i'm still going to keep them in their own little like their own little section have i gotten zappy yet i'm pretty sure i have another rocket I can't think of anything cool to say. <laughs> Mini P.E.K.K.A. This is my second. Not my third, right? Another Musketeer. Now it makes uh, six, seven, eight of them. I'm just kidding. I don't know how many. <laughs> Perfect. 
Furnace. Ooh, the Expo! That is super cool! It's another epic. Um, and this one's number 30. Very nice! Awesome! And then I've got another heal, but this one is, um, isn't a numbered heal like my other one. This one's just a regular heal, so... Uh, I still haven't figured out what all that means, and I'm probably never gonna. Somebody with information, please let me know in the comments. Hog Rider! Number two. That was a terrible Hog Rider, but that's hard for me. It's too far up there. Like three octaves higher than normal. I'm getting better at opening these, by the way. Have you noticed? When I first started, it was like super clumsy, and now I'm... It's like I know what I'm doing. It's like I've actually opened up something recently. There's another fireball. That's number three now. Uh, but it's pretty cool. It's actually number five, if you can see that. Yeah. I wonder what number one is. Did I already find out? I don't remember now. You would think number one would be like the barbarian, but I bet you it's like the... Uh, I don't know. Some spell or something. Battle Ram. Was this the first one that I got? I don't remember now. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. So, these are almost in perfect order from when I got them. Yeah, Battle Ram. That was my first one. So now I've got two. In case there's two gates on the castle. Knock them both down. At the same time. Barbarian Hut. I don't remember getting this one. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Number 28. That one might be a unique one that we haven't had yet. I don't know for sure. Move another stack of these out here. Whew. Another flying machine. I love it though. That's one of my favorite things. Just because it looks cool and the concept is really cool. Another barbarian hut. <laughs> I just got one of these. Come on, man. That's okay. I'm still happy to have it. Welcome to the team, my friend. Ooh, the Executioner! Oh, that's super cool! Awesome! Executioner's number 74. That's awesome. Executioner's a really cool card, too. Just the, again, the concept and the fact that it's not in Clash of Clans. Also, the Bomb Tower. Have I gotten the Bomb Tower yet? I think I have, but it was early on, so I don't remember. Another elixir collected. That was one of the one of the first rares that we got, and now we have another. This one felt different whenever I was opening it, so let's see what's in here. We got a bunch of regular cards and the dark goblin. Nothing new here. It felt it felt maybe it's playing tricks on me now, but it felt more substantial whenever I was opening it. So it made me think that maybe there was something different about it. But okay, so we're down to our last three packs. We need a countdown. Let's go. Let's do this thing. I was considering, like, not opening a few of them for a future video or sell them on eBay or something like that, but I decided, you know what? I'm having too much fun opening these. So I'm not going to wait. Another Valkyrie. Why not? That was our third to last one. By the way, I think each box guarantees a legendary. Uh, I don't know if that means it's guaranteed one and only one, uh, but I'm sure hoping that we get another one in the last. This is my second to last one. And we got... Another wizard. Your wizard, Harry. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and the last pack, guys, and then I'm gonna go over uh, what we got here in, uh, in a very nice orderly fashion. Maybe. <laughs> so the last pack, here we go. Royal Giant, I got like 30 of those. And we got ourselves a giant. The last one, I don't even know if I've gotten a giant. I'm sure I've got like three of them by now. Number eight. Very, very good. Okay, guys, so I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to try to organize these things. And uh, maybe we'll learn something in the process.
Okay, so I just organized all the commons into their groups of 10. So like this stack here is between 1 and 9. This is between 10 and 19. This is between 20 and 29 and, and so on and so forth up to up to the 70s. Um, I wasn't sure how high I was going to go. Otherwise, I would have put 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. But that's just how it worked out. So now uh, I'm going to clean up a little bit and I'm going to organize each of these into their groups. Because obviously, like if you if I just like turn the 70s over, you can see almost all of them are the same card. Actually, all of them are the same card. Look at how many Goblin Gangs I've got. These are all, wow. Okay, so that group's done. That's convenient. Okay, so under 10, there are four. By the way, I'm standing up now. My back was starting to hurt. Uh, so there are only four <laughs> common cards under the number 10. And so this is how I'm going to do it. So I've got it broken down into the groups. This one is number three. This one is number one. This one is number two. So it needs to be in front. And this one is number four. And apparently some of these are different colors. Uh, look at this. So you have like two archers, one of them is pink one of them is brown but there's no indication that they're different they're not different numbers or they don't have any different wording i don't get it but anyway so there's only four uh in this particular group and that is the order so now what i'm gonna do is take one out of each of these and that's going to be part of my official list to see if i've got you know more or less than well actually see if i'm missing any and the rest of them will be stacked up in order so now I'm going to do that to all the lists or all the all the commons and then I might even do them with the rares without uh, bringing you guys back in. I'll just time lapse it. So what I've done is broken down the, the rares into categories, uh, you know, which card is which, and then I put them in order in two different groups because it was too much to lay out all at once. And now all I'm going to do is grab the highest number and face it uh, face up. That way I basically put them in order without having to figure it all out, you know, just kind of mindlessly computer my way through it. So... Uh, 66 is the current number, now 59, that's the three musketeers. And pretty much, if you noticed, all the rares are doubled. Uh, some of them aren't, but most of them are. So, I can just keep uh, plugging away at these numbers. I know you guys can't see the numbers. If you can, well done. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I realize that's a definitely a limitation on my tech. <laughs> my, 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 uh... Uh, camera that I've got right now is not the best, but yeah, these guys are about to be broken down perfectly into the order. So I've got one of each common that I have access to and all of my rares, legendaries, and epics and all that stuff. So now I'm going to put them all in order to where they're in one big stack and we're going to be able to see which holes we have. All of these over here are uh, are duplicates. And you guys can't really see that stack. So all, all in this stack are duplicates. Mostly, or all of these are commons. And then we also have uh, these two, which have the weird numbers. Uh, but I've got lots of them. I'm just keeping them separate because they must be special. <laughs> Got to be special, right?
Okay, so we got them all done, and the numbers do not overlap. So all those numbers are technically in order, kind of like with the original Pokemon. There were 151, and you knew which one they were because they had a number. Bulbasaur was number one. I remember that specifically, but I don't remember why anymore. But anyway, so uh, Arrows is number one, and uh, that's pretty cool. So we have lots of holes. Bomber is number two. Archers... Number three, you guys can see that fine, right? Uh, the knight is number four, and then my fireballs, which I've only got duplicates of the rares in this stack, are number five. Mini P.E.K.K.A. is number six. Musketeer is number seven. And the giants are number eight. But then I think there's a hole. Yeah, so these spear goblins are number 13. So giants are eight, 13, so I'm missing... 9, 10, uh, 11, and 12. I'm missing four cards right here. Just terrible. So I'd like to know which ones those are, of course. Number f uh, the Goblin's number 14. Goblin Hut is 15. Valkyrie is 16. And then Lightning is 17. Goblin uh, Barrel is 18. So we're looking good so far. Skeletons are 19. Minions are 20. The tombstone is 21, so we haven't missed any. We had like a uh, uh, like a, a hole in our list, but then it's pretty solid up to this point. Bomb tower is 22. Bomb tower uh, cannon is 20. Oh, so the, the cannon is number 23. So that means that I'm, I'm missing two. 23 and number 24, because this is 25. Barbarian is 26. Barbarian is 26? What? Okay, anyway. Rockets... Uh, are 27, Barbarian Hut is 28, Expo is 29, oh, no, Expo is 30, so I'm missing number 29, interesting, okay, uh, Tesla's 31, Minion Horde is 32, Inferno Towers are 33, Hog Rider is 34, I accidentally picked up my only legendary, look at this thing, look at this, that thing is sick, man. That is so cool. But that's number 38. So I'm missing 35, 36, and 37. I'm missing three in the line. Not good, man. Not good. And then I'm also... So Lava Helm's 38. Uh, Zap is 39. Uh, Fire Spirit is 40. Furnace is 41. Mm, Wizards is 42. Okay, okay. Mortars is 47. So I'm missing... 43, 44, 45, and 46. I'm missing four more. Again. Crazy. Uh, 48 was the Skeleton Barrel. Elixir Collectors are 49, so we're good there. And the Battle Ram is 50. So there's a bit of a pattern, I've noticed. Like, you know, if you're going to miss some, it's going to be a big chunk. Like, for instance, here is the Elite Barbarian, and it's 56. And by the way, the Elite Barbarian is also 56 if it has those uh, counts, 13 out of 25 on the top. So the number's the same. But uh, 56, and the Battle Ram is 50. So I'm not sure what that was about but i'm missing five i'm missing 51 through 55 so i don't know how that happened and then we have the uh royal jam is 57 the uh mega minion which is 58 three musketeers are 59 and then the dark prince so cool is number 60 bats are 64 wow so we're missing three right there uh, Ice Spirit's 65, Ice Golem is 66, I've got two of those, Goblin Gang is 71, again, I'm missing, missing 67, 68, 69, and 70. Hmm. Missing them in batches, it's like the, it's like the printer, whenever, you, you, like, they're, they're making these packs in these boxes, like, they randomize it, but the randomize, the randomization is kind of weird. 72 for the Flying Machine, Dart Goblin is 73. The Executioner, super cool, is 74. Very good. The level uh, 7 heal is 77. So I'm missing 75 and 76. I'm missing two there. And then the Cannon Cart is 78. Zappies are 81. And that is the highest one. So I'm actually missing uh, 79 and 80. Now, I don't know if 81 is the highest number. We might be missing more on top of that. I don't know. But uh, there you go, guys. So out of a hobby box... That is what I got. I'm missing probably what, like 10% of the total set. And I bet you most of the ones that I'm missing are legendaries because that's just how it works. But I probably am missing the odd rare and uh, probably a few epics. So anyway...
Guys, that was an absolute blast. Hope you enjoyed that video. It's probably a long one because I've been filming for over an hour. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments and maybe we'll do some other other types of cards or games or something. It's something I've always enjoyed doing hard collecting. So it's just uh, something I'd, I'd like to do more often, maybe on the channel. So yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Thank you.